Hi, I'm Don, and for today, we're going to be using the clone stamp tool, the spot healing brush tool, and a little bit of the healing brush tool. We're going to be removing barbed wire and fences from two pictures. For today's fun, we're going to be taking a look at this picture with the horse, and we're going to remove the barbed wire and the metal pole. And in the second picture, this fence where these dogs are behind. A few people have asked me, How do you do that? Well, I'll show you. It's a little bit time intensive, but if you're not in a race, it's quite easy to do. And it's good practice for clone stamp, spot healing brush, and the healing brush tool. Let's go. All right, let's work on the horse picture here first. I'm working with JPEGs again, so there's going to be some uh, artifacting from the compression. So let's copy the layer and make it a smart object. And let's go to Neural Filters. And then down at the bottom of Neural Filters is JPEG Artifacts Removal. Let's click on that guy, and they're gone. All right, now let's rename this layer, horses. Let's create a new layer and label that removals. Now here, we're gonna use the spot healing brush tool. Now let's kind of zoom in here to one part of the barbed wire. We want to make our brush size a little bit larger than the barbed wire. And this is a good uh, practice for holding your shift key. So first, dab, hold your shift key down, and away it goes. Now it's gonna be uh, pretty much that for these straight lines in here. So let's uh, do the next one. That wasn't exactly a straight line. So we could either go over it like that or redraw. Now let's do the one till the end. Dab, hold your shift key down and go to the end. All right, we have a couple things here, but first let's zoom out. We have to do this metal pole here. So let's make our brush size a little bit larger than the metal pole. And again, dab, hold your shift key down and go up. In there, we're gonna we're gonna have to clean up our mess later on, but that should take care of that. Okay, zoomed in on the horse leg. Let's reduce our brush here. This is a good test. Now, you don't always have to draw straight lines. One of the things you can do is dab with here, or just left click. I'm using a Wacom tablet with a pen, so I so I dab. And let's make the brush a little bit smaller. Dab, 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 dab. See, that didn't work out very well. Let's try a straight line, see what happens. Now, it's a little bit better. We can fix that. Dab on the horse leg. Not bad. Let's make a new layer, and we'll call this one Repairs. So let's rotate the canvas. You can see the horse leg there is a bit missing. So we'll do our clone stamp tool. Make sure our flow is about, oh, I don't know, 15%. Choose a little bit of leg here. Alt key, make your selection. Move it over so it kind of lines up here. And off we go. Do a little bit of cleaning and round it off to make it look like a horse leg. And bam, the horse leg is back. But the thing now is we have to uh, fix the hoof and stuff here. So we'll try the same method. Let's rotate the canvas here. Let's grab a bit of the horse leg. Clone stamp tool. We'll make our flow about 10% or so. Grab a bit of the horse leg here and kind of line it up. Grab a little bit more from the middle and a little bit from the knee. And bam, we've got a horse leg. Let's clean up a little bit of the mess with the hay. Let's continue with the hoof here. We'll do the same thing. Clone stamp tool, make a selection, kind of line it up. And we'll paint inside there, right here. And a little bit here. Let's clean this up. Let's grab some white from here. Grab a bit of brown from here. And we'll clean it all up. For the top part, we'll do the same. And now let's uh, rotate, escape, and our horse's hooves are returned. Okay, let's zoom out. Spot healing brush tool. Sometimes it's a bit off and you can see in the trees kind of cut off here. So let's zoom into the tree and we just have to fix a little bit. So let's rotate the canvas and we can Grab our clone stamp tool. Same procedure. Hold your alt key down, make your selection. And let's get her in there. A bit more on this side. Let's grab down by the roots here and kind of fill that in. Doesn't have to be perfect. 
because there's grass in there as well. Rotate to escape. And you can tell here where the pole used to be. So let's finish off here. Grab a little more of the tree. Now you can see if we zoom out a bit, you can see where the pole was at one point. So what we can do is go along that line. So let's rotate a bit. Hold your space bar down. Let's drag it up a bit. And you can also see where the spot healing brush kind of glitched a bit. So what we'll do, clone stamp tool, make our brush a little bit larger and we'll grab some. We'll start from the top here, you can tell. Let's just go down the line of where it was. I'll just kind of grab adjacent from it and let's color it in. Because who knows what kind of grass was behind that pole at one point. So we can grab on either side and kind of clean it up. R, escape. Now you can see a little bit here that didn't quite work out. So we won't rotate this time. We'll clean up our mess. Go on the side here and clean it up. Sometimes you got to do it a couple times to kind of get the right look and feel for the picture. Kind of grab from both sides if you wish. Give it a certain look. This does not look right. Let's color it in a bit. Down to the bottom, you can see there's a bit here. So let's zoom out. Now, even zoomed out sometimes, it just doesn't look right. So let's do it again over here. Get the pattern that we see. This one, that's much better. So now the pole and the barbed wire is gone from the horses. The picture is a great picture, but if we add a color lookup table, and we use my favorite at the moment, which is crisp warm, bam, it kind of brings it to life, but it's a little much. So let's bring the opacity down, you can see. So now, just when it starts to turn a little bit, you kind of bring it in right around 45, 50%. And you can go before and after. Kind of brings it to life and all together. All right, that's the horse picture done. Now let's move on to the dogs. Let's take a little bit of break here, have some coffee, or rest our eyes. I'd just like to remind everyone to please like, subscribe, ring my bell so you'll be notified for any more new videos. All right, let's work on the dog picture here. It's pretty much going to be the same idea with your spot healing brush tool, where you dab, hold your shift button down, and do some straight lines. Sometimes they're not straight, so you can just draw them in there. Here, I'll show you as an example here. Let's zoom into the bottom where the ground is. Now, as you can see, there's a bend in the metal here. Let's make our brush a little bit larger than the metal, and we can hold, dab, hold the shift, and clean that up. Now, let's draw around the corner and do the same here. Click, hold your shift, gone. That's pretty much it of what we're going to do, but I'll show you this one here. I'll do the rest of it, and then we'll come back and we'll yak about more of it. Now, sometimes you'll try it three or four times here and it's grabbing it from up here. So let's remove this first. Control Z to undo. There, now it's not gonna grab it. And in this section here, let's first let's grab this out of the way and let's just dab by the foot so we don't have too much destruction by the foot that we'll have to clean up later. Now, once it comes to where the dog's feet and etc. are, let's be a little extra cautious and not quite do them yet. Let's just get rid of all the dirt ones and the cross ones, and we'll come back to the other ones that the dogs later. In sections like this, just dab. Try to get as close as we can without destroying the dog's fur. Yeah, some places you have to be a little bit more meticulous. Because we want to repair as little as possible. But some sometimes can't be helped. 
I'm not going to worry too much about this other fence, but let's clean it up and get her done. And let's just draw a straight line before the edge. Not bad. So this is a good place to reduce your brush a bit and dab. And just dab or click. See what happens if we go from here to here. Same thing, dab, it kind of recreates it for you, not bad. Across, dab, dab a second time, fixes it all right. So let's go here to here, and from here, hold your shift to here. Dab there. I think the rest of this section here, I'm gonna have to do with the clone stamp tool. I think I'll get a better result if I do that. So let's change to the clone stamp tool, reduce our brush, Let's zoom in a second. Always try to get your good advantage of how to see your subject. As for the clone stamp tool, reduce the brush. Flow at 10% is all right. And we'll make our selection. And let's just color it in. Keep making selections. And we'll grab a little bit of this here, line it up. And that's that part. Now we can go back, hit J and dab a bit there we go if you wish be meticulous let's go in here line it up and just paste it in all right now let's clone stamp this part but i think what i'll best do is rotate the canvas and i want to color in this part here so let's get a little bit of this from here and i'll probably attack it from both sides a little bit from here a little fur, a little bit from there, and that section's all right. R for rotate and escape. We'll go up, and you can't. You can see a, a little bit of discrepancy there, but we'll fix that at the end. Now let's go back and get these toes. J for your spot healing brush. Dab, dab, dab. Dab. Not bad. Not bad. Let's draw a small line there. Dab. Dab, dab. I think I'll clean up this though with our clone stamp tool. So S again for the clone stamp tool. Rotate the canvas so we can draw properly. And let's, I'm gonna increase my flow to 15%. It won't take as long. So now let's make our selection and we won't color it in. All right, not too shab. R, escape, like I said, when it comes to this section here, at the very end, I'm going to be using the healing brush tool to clean up spots like that. So let's zoom out and go to the next foot. And all it is is the same kind of repeating of everything here. So I'll speed her up and I'll come back to you in a minute. Okay, we'll stop right here for a second. Now, as you can see, wire goes across the dog's face. So what we'll have to do is try to clean it up as much as we can and do some clone stamping. Not bad, but you'll see that there should be gray hair here. We'll steal some of that from up here in a minute. So now what we'll do is we'll grab this section of the mouth and we'll put it over here to compensate. What we'll do, We'll grab our lasso tool here, L for lasso, and we'll just cut across and across around. Let's go to our layer one here. Control J, copy it, put it at the very top of our layer stack here. And we'll go to edit and flip horizontal. Now, what we'll do is we'll reduce the opacity to about 50%. Hit the V key. I'll kind of move it into place, approximately where you think it might be. Right about there, bring the opacity back to 100 so we can you know, adjust it just a little bit. Now, the only thing we have to do, let's create 
an inverted layer mask. Go down to the layer masks here, hold your Alt key, and click. The only thing we need to do is fill in the spot here that was distorted. So, go to our brush tool, and let's make our flow more 15%. Since the layer mask is black, it conceals everything that we brought over there. So let's make sure our pen and our brush are white to reveal. And let's just color in exactly what we need. No more and no less. Hit your X key to make it black again so we can kind of get rid of this stuff here. All right, let's see if we can uh, repair this section here. So let's create a new layer. We'll just call it mouth and raise our healing brush tool to grab the texture and we'll draw there now what we can do is go back to our clone stamp tool make sure our flow is about five percent and what we'll do is clean up a bit of the mess Put this fur in here let's zoom out and that puppy is smiling now if you wish you can get meticulous again Zoom back in here, and there seems to be a bit missing here. So what we can do is, again, clone stamp, and let's grab some fur from down here and just kind of clean it up and make the mouth a little more shaped. There, that's better. All right, let's continue over here with his ear and stuff. Zoom in. Now we can go back to the repairs layer, remove this part of the wire. Now let's make sure we grab our spot healing brush tool. Go over here. Shift button to here, and then here. All right, let's see if we can grab the knot, but what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna do a straight line from here to here, and we'll have to carefully dab to keep the fur sort of consistent. Here, go up, remove this. Now, let's see if we can get rid of this knot here with some dirt and dab put some fur back there all right cool now and look around actually let's zoom out give the eyes a rest now we can see we've got a lot of fur to contend with down here so let's go over here z for the zoom key and let's get in here now rotate the canvas you can draw a straight line j for the spot healing brush tool to make it a little bit larger we'll go from here to about here and then draw in this part draw in this part now we're getting to some dangerous areas here. Rotate the canvas. Let's see what we got. All right. So first, again, spot healing brush tool. Let's kind of draw a straight line here to here. Dab there for the fur, but slowly but surely, let's dab our way out of there and fix up that fur in a bit. Same thing on this side. All right. Draw it because it's kind of on a curve. And we'll dab to get out of here. I'll have to try straight line first. Oh, not bad. All right, now we're gonna have to uh, deal with this tongue and everything here. Let's see what happens if we do a straight line into the black here. Not bad, but let's get rid of that repeating pattern on his tongue. We'll dab, 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 dab. Now that tongue is gonna be something to work on, but I'd like to work on the nose here. So first, let's get rid of this wire here. Zooped. Not bad, not bad. All right, so let's dab. Dab a little bit on the nose here. Now let's do a little trick here with the clone stamp tool. What we'll do is we'll create another layer. Call it Big Dog Mouth. And what I'd like to do is make a selection with the lasso tool and or let's try the rectangular marquee tool first. Make a selection around it. Now... Clone stamp tool, make our flow about 20%. What we'll do is we'll go up to window and clone source. Now let's hit the uh, button right here. So what we can do is once we determine our selection here, what it's gonna do once we start drawing over here is it's gonna dr draw the exact opposite from what here is here. So let's make our choice right in the middle of the nose here. Go right to the middle of the nose here and let's Paint it in. Good, accurate representation of what it should be. Control D for deselect. And bam, our nose is back. All right. But now we have to go back up to window, 
clone source and let's turn it off. All right, let's go after this tongue here. I'm gonna rotate the canvas, R for rotate. I'm gonna make a new layer, tongue. Now what we're gonna do, we'll try our spot healing brush tool and we'll dab our way through it. Let's start with the outside with the fur and bits of the mouth. Let's be careful with that on either side, I guess, eh? Dab on the tongue a bit, not bad. Oh, kept the shape, not bad there and there. Now let's go here, nope. All right, let's see if we can get this part here. Well, I think pretty much that's as best as we can do. So what we're gonna have to do is f repair this part here. As we'll make a new layer, tongue two, and we'll get our clone stamp tool. And what we'll do, make sure to check your clone stamp tool, the clone source here, make sure it's unchecked. Now let's make our selection and just kind of make a section maybe about this long. We'll hit the V key to move. So we'll reduce the opacity to about 50% and control T to transform. Now let's rotate it, kind of put it in place where, where we want it. Right click in the middle and go to warp. And let's warp it into place for the dog's tongue. Hit the check mark, bring the opacity back to 100%, and we've got some tongue going on. All right, now let's go back down to the dog mouth layer, rotate the canvas back, and let's use our clone stamp tool here, make our flow about 15%, and we'll kind of just grab some of this from here. So we'll grab our clone stamp tool, make sure our flow is about 15% or so. Actually, I want to make it about 25, because I'm going to use the same kind of method. Hold your Alt key down to make your selection. Now let's just dab and make some fur and mouth. There, let's zoom out. Oh, that's a happy puppy. All right, let's move on to the last dog. Let's zoom in on him. Let's make a new layer. Last dog. Now, let's not worry about all these layers. I'll show you what we're going to do in a minute. Put them in a group so we can keep organized. So first, let's grab our spot healing brush tool. Make it a little bit larger than the wire. A little bit there. We'll draw the corner part here, here, here. Dab on the edge to kind of preserve the fur. Let's remove this last bit of wire from here to here. And we'll dab protect the fur there that's that part see this is going to be a little bit interesting let's grab this right above his head and it looks like we're going to have to do some clone stamping of that that's not a big deal so we'll grab this oh not bad not bad and we'll dab here grab the middle and dab to the end and out same with here zoom out wow all the fence is gone. That's pretty cool. Well, I'd like to thank everybody for sticking around till the end of the video. That's a lot to digest, but we get some good practice in there with our tools. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, please leave it down there. I'm Don from 40911. See you soon.